<clears throat> so now, the next level is Sushi Temple. There's a bit going on at the beginning, but after that, it's a pretty easy level. So, what you're going to do at the beginning is you're going to super hoop up these stairs while holding up on the D-pad to change some lag. Just like this. Now you're going to double jump, start the hoop again, single boost jump onto here, and you want to land in the middle of these monkeys. That was a bad demonstration since I clearly did not catch them all. Then after that, you would end up in the middle here, shoot this monkey, don't get hit by the boar like I did there, and you're going to neutral double jump up here, catch him, switch to the hoop, single jump, hoop. Now here, just hoop and boost jump up the left side of the stairs. Go in between these pillars, boost jump over to this guy, and catch him. Now two infinite jumps and a single jump to get over there. BJ to IJ over and catch that monkey, or you can just wait and catch him like that. If the BJ to IJ is too hard. Double jump over that, and catch this monkey to end the level. <laughs> hey man, you can't even get iOS 6? I have iOS 8 now. So the next level is Wabi Sabi Wall. This is one of the most terrifying levels for the game. Because there are so many places where you can just fall and die here. I would recommend not doing this level until you can do IJs very consistently, or BJ to IJs. But once you've done that, start the level. Two poop over here. Five BJ to IJs, and a single jump. And then swing your net this way to give yourself a good chance of ca landing on him and catching him. Now the camera just changed rapidly there. That happens, you're just going to have to deal with it sometimes. Then jump on there and BJ to IJ off. Now here there's a cool thing that you can do. You can just fall right into this gate. That's kind of hard to do, you'll just have to practice it. Here, boost jump onto here and catch as many monkeys as you can. Then after that, immediately <coughs> turn off to the left around here, so you would catch him, go off, turn off to the left, and then there will be a monkey around here that will turn around and go back towards the gong. That will always happen. So turn around, jump, and catch him. Then, after that, you're going to want to go over to where uh, the other monkey is. For me, I got very lucky and he jumped over there. Now, I would have caught him, but I kind of missed, so it doesn't matter. Very simple. That is an RNG based area, but you get the same RNG nearly every time, so, I mean, with my movement, I get that RNG every time, so. Here, you're gonna double boost jump onto this platform, then four BJ to IJs, not like that. <coughs> Let me just real quick do that again. So, double boost jump onto this platform, and then you're gonna do four BJ to IJs, single jump, and catch the monkey. Then, <coughs> BJ to IJ up here, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then s boost jump and switch to the thing. 3 IJs, single jump, and then jump, hit him, and catch. Switch to the super hoop, boost jump, swing the net, and now here you're going to want to go into first person and shoot this monkey. Immediately switch to the super hoop, boost jump, and you would catch him right there. Now if he runs away, you can just jump ahead of him and catch him. <coughs> Very simple once you get the BJ to IJ down. <coughs> so the next level is Crumbling Castle. This is a very consistent level, shouldn't be that hard once you get it down, but there's one thing that can completely kill a run in this, and that is called the infinite fall pit. You don't die when you fall in this pit, you just fall forever, so you have to reset the level, and it's like midway through. So the beginning, I got the worst luck possible on those enemies, but that's fine. You're going to want to fall down here and take the path I just took there, 
and you're gonna boost jump off of that corner to get up here. Immediately jump out of the water, come around here. Now switch to this. Now this is this is where it starts getting a little bit complicated. You're gonna IJ up through the ceiling, three IJs and then a double jump, and then you're just gonna hoop over to here. Now, this is this is the hard part of the level. It's not hard, but this is the dangerous part. There are a few things you can do here. The most consistent method would be to just IJ over, I'm gonna switch this so I can show you multiple things. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then you'd fall into there. I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna show you a few methods. Do I don't know if I'm going in the right direction. Alright, so I just fall and then I put a fall. Let me just real quick do the level again. Alright, I'm gonna start this too. The tutorial for this level starts over now. <clears throat> so this is Crumbling Castle. This level is really consistent, and not much can happen, but a few things can happen that can completely kill your run. Mainly one thing. So start by hooping over here. Doesn't really matter, just get down the mountainside, and then boost jump off of that into the water. Now get out of the water, jump. Navigate this hallway. And then three infinite jumps above this torch to get up here. Now here's the hard part. The most consistent way to do this would be at approximately the angle I'm at right now. Seven infinite jumps or boost to infinite jumps. And then a double jump if you don't do boost to infinite jump. Or a single jump if you do do boost to infinite jump onto the platform. The fastest way to do it though would be to boost jump over here and then you would double jump onto this platform and then you would just boost jump off into this. Now you want to land in that loading zone. Now once you're in this room, immediately turn to the right, you don't have to turn the camera actually, and then go one, two, three, you would do three infinite jumps and a double jump to get up. Now here you're going to want to shoot this button and then switch to the hoop. And that'll activate this cutscene which you cannot skip. Now, once this cutscene's over, I'm going to turn to the left and single jump onto here, start my hoop, single boost jump onto here, and go through here. Now, here, you want to just get over to here somehow. Now, hit this button with your hoop, and then you can just go through this gate. Oh, this, th this hallway is not super easy to navigate without hitting walls, but whatever. Now here you want to turn around, hold up on the D-pad to reduce lag, and then just boost jump up here, five, and then double jump up here, and then go into this room. Now this is the boss fight. This is a very easy boss fight if you know what to do. So what you're going to do is, we're going to damage abuse here. Now you're going to be using explosive pellets at the beginning. So at the beginning, take damage, shoot him with an explosive pellet. You're going to do that twice. Take damage, explosive pellet. Now, use the stun club. Same thing. Take damage, stun club. One more time. Take damage, stun club. Now turn around, first person view over here to reduce a little bit of lag. And you also need full health for that fight. Because if you have less than full health, the boss will kill you. You need the 5 health because you and the boss, boss both have 5 health. But you can take 4 damage and then use uh, explosive pellets, which do 1.5 damage, and use 2 of those plus 2 stun clubs to do 5 damage total with only taking 4 damage. It's not very technical, but it's not that complicated. <clears throat>